kitchen. Loving my kitchen, you guys. Love This kitchen makes me want to cook, you guys. Now, I don't know if you remember last week my announcement, how we're revamping this channel. And, and I'm going to be doing some of the recipes that my grandmother taught me. Or just, you know, for family or friend recipes. But I'm also going to be taking requests for, like, if you see any recipes online that you want to try but you didn't want to do it yourself, you can just put it in the box below and, and I'll do it. Me and my daughter, Ariana. That's my beautiful camera girl. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Ariana, say hi. Hi. Anyway, y'all, she don't like doing this job. I mean, it's pretty since she just got off work. But anyway, um, so today I saw this. I was watching the news. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just my timer for my oven. Um, I, was, I was watching the internet news and I seen a recipe and I said, you know, I'm going to try this. It sounds pretty good. It's called sour cream biscuits. There's only three ingredients. I'm making it four because you're supposed to have salted butter and I don't have salted butter. So I'm going to add salt in. So it'll be four ingredients instead of three. But we will start off with, oh, and of course I'll have the link down in the bottle so you can find the link also. But it's a cup of sour cream, one cup of self-rising flour, and it'd be a cup of a butter, salted butter, room temperature. I couldn't mind that because I forgot to take it out earlier so it'd be soft and now it's just where I need it. And I'm gonna add in a fourth teaspoon of salt since I don't have salted butter. But if you have salted butter, you can omit the salt. So this is, the, this is according to the recipe, this is all this is. So we're gonna take, we're gonna be doing a little bit of transportation, moving myself over here, guys. So let's go to my mixer, and we're gonna mix all these things together. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but my husband loves anything sour cream, so, and he loves biscuits. So, this is what we're gonna be making in honor of him today. Of course, he loves food in general, so I guess anything would work. So I'm gonna start with adding the butter, the butter first. Now usually when I do a recipe that I haven't tried, I try to follow it how it says. <laughs> and this one is just like you just add all three ingredients together, which is sort of different for me, but we're gonna do it because I'm following their instructions. I might change it later if I don't like it. Or hey, I might not even like this recipe at all. Hopefully, I love it because I love biscuits, as you can tell. Okay, now we're just gonna lock this. Sorry, you guys, my carpet tunnel backing up again. Yeah. Okay, we're just mixing this. You're just mixing it enough so everything is mixed together. Yes, it's Ariana. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna take, open this up. I'm gonna lock it first. And I'm gonna make sure I get everything. Sorry, Ariana. Everything mixed together, guys. It's sort of hard with this arm thing, the wrist on for my carpet tunnel, but I should probably be trying to use my left hand, but it's sort of hard to do too, since I'm right here. But, yeah. Now, I know it looks sort of wet, but it's supposed to look like this. At least according to the recipe. But if you live in a hot and humid place and it's really wet, you think it's too wet, you can add just a little bit, I'll say like a teaspoon at a time, to get it where it's not so wet, but you don't want it dry either. So I'm gonna do this just one more time real fast, you guys. One more time. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's take this over here. Y'all, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm a cleanup freak. So come on, let's go back over here. Over here, Ariana. I always have a little bit of soap water so I can wash my dishes up after myself. And now we're gonna take our things out. And yes, I wash my hands, so. And this is for my family. Of course, if you're making this for somebody else, you would wear gloves or, you know, wash your hands. I really don't wear gloves. I wash my hands a lot. That's just OCD about me. Isn't it, Ariana? Mm-hmm. Always wash my hands with dry. I always have to use lotion because my hands are always so dry. 
I'm just gonna give this one quick stir, you guys. Just wanna make sure everything, see, is in here. Oh, so far, what do you think, Ariana? How does it look to you? Looks pretty good. So, what we're gonna do now is spray our tin. You guys, I love these tins here better than my old one. I think I got this at, was it um, Home Goods, Ariana? Yeah. I think for $7.99. Of course, that was like, what, a year ago? But anyway, so we'll take a spoonful. Oh, hey, go ahead, honey. And we're just gonna drop it in here according to the recipe. There's no really measuring. There's a just drop it in. So we're gonna see how this turned out, guys. <laughs> Because usually in, in culinary school, we just didn't do it like this. It's so in debt. But hey, I'm all the mind of our trying to think once. That's legal, of course. But Ariana, we ain't trying to go to jail. Right. So, I think this here can make 12, so be careful how much you put in here. Truth be told, I'm going to try to use it all in this 12. Because it's just three of us in this house. We don't eat a lot of food like we did when there was Reverend Ariana, four of your, other, your three sisters. But Ariana's the youngest, so. <laughs> and you guys, we're going to scrape this, Ariana. Yeah. So mine is doing, sorry, 12, 11. I forgot how much I put in here. Let's do this. Maybe I can do 12. It's going to be a little baby one, guys. Okay, little baby one. Let's just take some off this one, guys. Don't tell nobody. Right, Ariana? <laughs> Around like I don't air mine, just hurry up so I can go to bed. Just trying to put these in the center, you guys. Trying to take some off from the ones I think put too much in here. It's just like, you know, when I seen this online, the picture looked really good, but you know, you know, pictures when you see those commercials or like burgers from like. Where did Ariana, like Burger King or like Black Sheep like they have here. And it's like, those burgers look so good. And then you see them in person and you're like, oh God, just such a letdown, you know what I mean? So anyway, so hopefully that's not how these are gonna turn out. Okay, you guys, so I put all 12 in here. We're gonna put it in the oven. This is 375 degrees for 20 minutes. Hold a minute, let me put it here for 20 minutes. And then we'll be back. Okay, you guys, the biscuits just got out the oven. I actually cooked it for 23 minutes total time. Um, this is what they look like on the bottom, see? The front. We open up. Now, what I would do next time, if, if I make these, if they're good, was fill up the muffin pan a little bit higher so it would have came up some, you know what I mean? But but I didn't do that, if y'all remember that. So, look moist, wait a minute. Okay, you guys, it's really buttery. You can taste the sour cream. If you love sour cream, this is for you. I don't love sour cream. My hairs don't love sour cream. But I could eat this with biscuits and gravy, like you use the sausage gravy, because it'll be covered. I really don't do plain biscuits anyway. I prefer jam on mine, or even Miss Butterworth syrup, you know? But the plain, I just don't do plain biscuits, so. Try the recipe. Um, I'm gonna work with it and see if I can get it to where I would be able to eat it without anything, but I seriously doubt it because I can't even eat plain toast without putting jelly on it. So that's just me, y'all. That's how I roll. But try it. I'll put the recipe in the box. I mean, go down in the box with the link to the recipe. And until next time, peace.